I recommend that you have an hour at least for every single lower back. I could spend two hours with some people because I love talking. But you need enough time to get that subjective in. You need to then assess them and go, is this person exactly present in the right way that I'm thinking? Because I haven't got an MRI scanner in my brain. I've just got to work this one out. And sometimes that MRI is not going to tell me anything or tell me the wrong thing anyway. And I don't need that. I've got to be good. I've got to be my own MRI. And I've got to test them, test them, test them. Then I've got to get them out of pain. Then I've got to treat them. Then I've got to write a rehab program. All in that hour. So when they go home, because it's Thursday, and they can't come until Wednesday, what are they going to do for five days? You've got to get that right. You can't do the rehab program day two. Worst case scenario, you have to. Or you might get them in the Friday or something. But I implore you to get it in that first session. And, you know, learning about the exercises is one thing, but getting that subjective, getting that objective right will give you that really inroad into getting the right thing. Because if you give the wrong exercises first up, they're going to go home sore, and they're going to go, that physio just made me worse. I've got a is it neck, neck? calf. Do a side step. They've got a calf problem. I know this is not lower back, but they've got a calf problem. Calf tear, and they want to be, you know, back playing basketball. Okay, well, to basketball, you have to jump and sprint. Okay, now you need six weeks of healing from your calf tear, and then you, once you're there, then you need to recondition probably another four or six weeks. So when I say you're not playing basketball for maybe 10 or 12 weeks, do you understand where I'm going? They still don't get it. Okay, so you bring it back. Well, you've got to get, you can't even walk at the moment, you're limping. So that's going to take you maybe a week or two. Okay, you've got to start strengthening slowly through there and you've got to get to this point. Then once we're doing calf raises, then we've got to do some jumping and plyometric work very carefully. Then once you can prove to me you can hop 30 times on that leg, then you can start jogging. You've got to get maybe two weeks of jogging before you even think about sprinting on that calf because that's how you tore it in the first place. Yeah, and then you spend maybe two or three weeks sprinting before that's at least minimal reconditioning before you're in an uncontrolled environment like basketball. They're going, can you see how far away that is now? And then they sort of get it. And even just doing that sort of scenario of like, this is your end goal, but can you see my healing time frames? Because they don't understand healing time frames, especially with lower back. Calf, it's easier. They can, oh, yeah. Yeah, that is still sore. Yeah, I can feel it. It's a muscle tissue. They get it over time. You spend enough time and they get it and they're on board. Because every time they try and do something, they go, yeah, I can't do that. Lower backs, if you're so amazing at getting that pain gone through your hands, you get it gone almost like great that you get it gone quickly. But if you don't get the education on board, they're going to stuff up pretty quick and they're going to go back to something pretty quick.